Greetings and welcome to Poser TV. I'm your host, The Edge, and I finally have a few minutes to make a little video. It's been a while. Um, ever have to learn a lesson 20 times or more? And even on the 20th time when you learn it again and you say to yourself, I think that's the last time I'll have to learn it. Really, seriously. And yet, there's probably going to be a 21st time. Thank God, literally, that He is uh, long-suffering and patient with us. This is not the only lesson I've ever had to learn 20 times, but uh, it's the most recent. Um, it's the most recently revealed, and it's on my heart to share, to a degree. Um, what I'm talking about. The lesson is um, it's it's got multi layers to it. it. It's an onion, really. I mean, it, it all goes back to making God your number one priority. I mean, what does that really mean, though? You can say that, you can declare it, and then you know the next minute you're overly concerned about your family's needs or your job or you know your financial situation or that's that's a red flag if you're saying that God's your number one and then you turn around and spend the rest of your day proving otherwise. And I've always given when I when I realize this kind of thing, I always give God peace of me in my life, especially that peace that's in trouble or headed for disaster, you know, it's a relationship problem, I'll give him that peace, it's a financial problem, I'll give him that peace, um, don't know how many times I've given him multiple pieces, it's usually one or two things that I want him to work on. So I've been convicted lately, and maybe even though this is the 20th time he's asked me to turn things over to him, maybe, just maybe, this is the last time I'll have to learn a lesson, and this time I can identify one thing that's different. I gave him everything. That sounds strange, because technically nothing's changed, but it could change, and I'm willing to let it change. And that's the part that's scary because it may be God's will that my house is ripped out from underneath me, that uh, my family undergo turmoil and strife, that my business be shut down. Am I okay with that? If it be His will, I am. Is it scary? Yeah. But you got to ask yourself, if you're going to try the same experiment, are you doing any better controlling these things yourselves than he could do? I doubt it. In fact, I know that you're not. I'm not. So, um, my original idea, and I still may do it, was to get on here and talk about the founding of this company, it is a Christian company that I run, and take you through year one, year two, year three, and the beginning and middle of year four, because that's where we're at. Um, I think that'll be an interesting video if I end up making it, and part of what I wanted to do is an ongoing documentary or testimony of how I have turned this business back over to God and show you exactly what he's doing. I say almost a living testimony. I think I'll still do that, but this is me at least sharing something I've learned for the 20th time. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you relate. And if you don't, I hope you try this out sometime. I'm in much better hands now. This is The Edge signing off for now.